all my name is krishna i am welcome to my youtube channel so guys many people like freshers experienced professionals and they ask me a lot of questions related to transition towards data science and i usually say them these are the basic steps you know you really need to learn you need to implement many end to end projects please keep your github profile ready okay please keep it attractive now when i say this you know and apart from that i also tell them to write blogs you know start contributing to the open source community and do many things right now let's come back to the point when i say that please keep your github profile attractive now what does this basically mean that i'm not saying you to put some flower and you know in the github profile and make it decorative no whenever you are implementing some end to end projects you need to really commit it in an amazing way and that commit should actually involve end to end project and it should have the entire details of that specific project okay and in this particular video i'll be discussing how you should basically update your entire project in a github profile so that if in your resume you know you put your github link because that is how the recruiter will come to know about you right so he will definitely he or she will definitely go to your github profile and see what all kind of activities you have actually done and they see that okay you have done one project where you are where you have committed everything you have explained the entire project trust me that will definitely impress a recruiter so in this video i'm going to take one example over here similarly there are a lot of examples uh, this one project is from ineuron again uh, which is like which is in my company which is nothing but pose with actions so this is one of the project uh, which was just recently done by the team along with the internship ment uh, internships interns and you know we usually provide them and with the help of them you know we were able to create this specific product now see if i talk about this this project is all about pose with action now here you can see obviously if if a recruiter suppose if i am a recruiter i probably got this specific link you know in um remember guys you cannot use this repository because this is a private repository because this was the work with respect to the product development that we do in ineuron okay so suppose this link was found up in my resume so what will the recruiter do he'll just he or she will just go and click it and when he goes down okay this looks like pose with action okay what all things it actually do see based on the activities you know over here from this particular images uh, and themes you can actually understand what exactly the project is all about right now here you can see the person is uploading here you can see that it is determining drinking it is determining when it is running it is able to determine and these are some of the photos so obviously some idea they have actually come to know so a basic idea about it you can also provide the entire description over here and usually we update this in the readme file okay now this is the first main step provide some kind of description about the project either visually or in the form of some some lines of text okay this is very much important now coming to the second thing over here here you will be seeing that okay apart from this uh, this repository represents actionable action recognition using alpha pose right so some text some title of the particular project apart from that you can have some description okay so here what all description three to four pointers five pointers you can actually write from where did you take the data set so here is one example where there is a data set given over here and from this particular data set you can actually start working on it uh which object um, detection model you have actually used there you can see that yolo v3 has been used you know you can download it from this particular google drive link okay for post tracking download the object tracking model so all this information are easily given okay apart from this here you will be able to see the installation steps what is the requirement what all things you require and this was implemented in pytorch okay so all this information and then suppose if you really want to use this entire repository what should be the setup process you know you will be able to see all the setup process step by step is mentioned over here okay and then with respect to inferencing like suppose if i am trying to give uh, to give a new image or video frames to this particular project how will i get the output by which command and here you can see the entire script right and then you can test with the videos and finally you can also give the contributors like how many people have actually contributed so these were all the interns that had worked in this particular project along with the ineuron team so guys apart from this a very important document is also required in your project which will actually really really impress the recruiter trust me okay and that is the hld documents and lld documents what is this hld high level design documents what is the lld low level design documents now if i just try to show you this particular documents okay and probably if i try to draw and probably just uh, download it this document gives some higher information high level information with respect to the implementation of this particular project okay so some documentation is basically given over here right 
and low level documentation will again provide you much more lower details more, some important details apart from that right so here you will definitely be able to see why we have used this particular architecture how many images we have used how we have used all that particular information will be visible over here remember i have never seen many people putting this high level and low level documents but understand this is very much important okay it it really needs to be put up and please if you are again implementing any end to end project also make sure that you upload the high level documents and low level documents that is very much important now the next thing let's go and see this entire uh, repository okay now in this particular repositories guys understand one thing there is one setup.py why this setup.py is actually used so that you will be able to install this in your local environment and in order to create this kind of structure of the project i already i have made a tutorial with respect to ml ops and for that you need to know the ml ops tutorial here are somewhere around 6 videos we have uploaded over here the instructor was sunny he showed step by step how you can create actually this kind of projects okay and this projects are important because this is how it is being implemented in uh, uh, probably in the real world scenario you know you will be having many things as such now over here you can see different different folders a demo folders here you will be basically putting your hld and ld uh, in the doc folder and if i go and see the pre trained models here you will be having all the uh, pre trained model dot txt whatever configuration is required over here you know with respect to the parameters that you need to play you know and over here you can find out all the other information right so this kind of entire configuration you may be confused that krish how do we create this i'm telling you guys just go and follow this particular tutorials this five tutorials six tutorials will actually help you to understand how a actual project needs to be done here are the examples here you can see all the things with respect to the models here are all the other folders that we basically have if i go and see the detector here you can see various py files along with this yolo configuration file so internally yolo was actually used okay again uh, obviously you will say that krish this does not make sense but understand that this is the structure that you should really have and the setup.py and setup.configuration file is important so that you will be also able to install it in your own machine now till now whatever projects i have seen you know i just find out some of the information they probably write this description data set probably and just the installation and with respect to any kind of libraries also that you use right uh, in pypy that you will be seeing that also follows this kind of format only okay probably i go and search any pypy libraries you know and if i go and see the github they will also have this kind of things only they will also have a setup.py setup.cfg and that libraries we actually use right so we can also deploy this kind of libraries in pypy you know and that is the reason why i'm showing you this now if you have done this many things guys trust me how amazingly it will attract the recruiters right now my my main aim is here that don't create this kind of project but at least when you're thinking an end to end project definitely a requirement.txt file will be there definitely the entire process of deployment along with the entire end to end project will be available over here try to commit it over there then try to provide some description probably some images you know which cloud did you use what is the data set that you have taken how you have did you have to provide this entire description then only you will have an amazing github profile okay then only the recruiter will think that okay this person knows some end to end flow how the project needs to be implemented so if you have all these things in your mind trust me the recruiter will have a amazing experience and definitely they'll call you right because projects are implemented in this specific way okay like this guys uh, if you if i talk about i neuron uh, we make uh, many people to uh, we we work on multiple projects so here you can see multiple projects like ml healthcare you know traffic jam detection ml education i neuron vision different different projects first filing ocr fast pitch to text modeling we work on multiple projects if you just go and see there are so many projects uh, you will definitely not be able to see this projects in i neuron because these are private you know these all are products that we are trying to create you know and probably once it is developed in an amazing way once we have a very good accuracy uh you will be able to see this uh, probably in pypy or we'll try to open source this entire thing you know some some of the projects are like food recommendation covid 19 from uh, ex chest x ray everything everything is basically done and uh, still many of the projects are also going on because we definitely have a lot of products that are there in the pipeline uh, and we plan in that specific way but this is just to give you an idea how your github profile should look like so i hope you like this particular video uh please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye